The autopilot in version 8.0. It's here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. First and foremost, I'll just skip cut to the chase. It's pretty good. Lots of small refinements. I don't know if it's as big um, relative to what you see and experience as Elon made it out to be. I think the technological advances, which may be more subtle and under the hood, are drastic. But as far as what you experience, it's not a big of a leap as 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 Tesla would uh, would have you believe. However, it's still incredible. Uh, it's taken the experience of autopilot on 7.1 and all the uh, additional iterations and just made it a lot better, a lot smoother, a lot more refined. Uh, it makes it uh, smoother to accelerate, to decelerate on uh, adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control UI now is, is a little bit different, showing you the maximum speed, sort of calling that out very very prominently. The um, auto steer icon is glaringly ugly, I would say, but it's to the point of making sure that you're aware that you're on auto steer and auto steer is active. Uh, the visualization is improved. The cars look a lot smoother, a lot cleaner, uh, and they also adapt to the road. So as the road turns and bends, you also see the cars turn that direction. So you get a better sense of what direction the cars are going and lets you understand that the car, your car, sees what direction the other cars are going as they bend around the different roads, so on and so forth. Uh, and then you also have redundancy with the camera taking a back seat to the radar, radar being the focal point, so you'll be able to see the car in front of the car in front of you, which was the case before, but only when the camera could see a bit of the car in front of you. It couldn't do it uh, if the car in front of you, directly in front of you, was blocking completely the car that's in front of that car. Now, the car in front of you can be blocking completely, but the radar will still see the car in front of that car. Uh, so you add that plus the redundancy of whatever the camera sees, and now you have a pretty solid, uh, confident field of view for the car, and the car can see all the cars on the road and visualizes that accordingly. Uh, up to three, three lanes, up to three lanes, so the lane you're in, uh, the lane that's next to you, uh, and then all the cars that are there. Uh, if you're in slow moving traffic, slow moving traffic, you can see six cars, uh, you know, in front of you. That's the three cars that are directly in front of you, and then the three cars in front of those. So that's pretty cool. Uh, no way to really visualize that now because I'm not in traffic, but hopefully, if I run into some, you'll be able to see that. But as you see now, you'll see the three cars. Uh, in all three lanes, which are three cars in, directly in front of me, and you, the car in front of the other car, okay? And now you see the car that just cut in front of the car in front of me is now visualized and seen crossing over another lane. So this guy just made uh, a three, a two-lane pass, and that was caught completely with both the radar and the camera uh, redundancy and being able to marry those images together, which is pretty cool. You get a smooth transition from what, what does the camera see then when it's out of range of the camera, what does the radar see? And then what does the camera see again as it picks up on the other lane? So I think that was pretty cool. Beyond that is uh, just, again, the same same uh, range of visualization. So cars, semi-trucks, uh, and motorcycles are all seen here. Nothing is added. No differentiation for small vans. No differentiation for buses uh, or anything like that. But just the cars, uh, semi-trucks, and motorcycles. The lane cut in I think is good I don't see a visual representation of if you can't turn in so maybe the, the blinker doesn't turn red uh, but it will stop and wait for its opening to get in there and, and make the right decision so I think that's good everything else again is smoother as far as the, the feel of it goes again but I think the technological advances which is why I think the blog that was written from Tesla was or from Elon I should say the representative of Tesla was so technical because it's really speaking to the technical feats that they made, which again, may not always be seen on the surface as you're riding in the car. But again, much improved to one of the already standout systems as far as semi-autonomous features go. Again, keyword semi-autonomous, not fully autonomous for those uh, who, who are not clear on what it is. But I think it's really, really, uh, really impressive. A lot of people who use this on their daily commute, uh, like myself, will really enjoy the, the smoothness that it's added to it uh, and takes a little bit of the concern away from, um, from being able to 
take those turns a little hard, hard and harsh, which it did in 7.1, and now a lot smoother in now version 8.